Hi, I'm Philip from Optimize Lab, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to set up custom columns in Google Ads. Now, to start off with, what are custom columns and why are they useful? Well, when we're looking at a basic report within Google Ads, for example, this report we're looking at on the screen right here, which is a ad report for three separate ads within an ad group we can see a number of different metrics that are useful. So we can see the number of clicks, that's important to know. We can see the number of impressions, the number of times the ad has been seen. We can see the click-through rate and the average uh, cost per click. And importantly, we can see the number of conversions, conversion rate and the cost per conversion. So that's all very useful. But when we're analyzing, in this example, ads, and we wanna know how effective each ad is and which ad is the most effective, the columns we have here aren't always sufficient. Sometimes we need additional information in order to make the best possible decision, in order to get the optimal performance from our campaign and from our ads. So this is an example where that's the case, and I'll show why. So we can see that each ad has a different click-through rate. And for the purposes of this example, um, we're looking at just the data for this month. Generally, you'd look at a much wider amount of data, so you have a larger sample size. Um, but as this is just an example, we're, we're just looking at um, the data for this month. But generally speaking, if you want to know which ad is performing best, it can be tricky to just look at, for example, click-through rate. Because if we judge an ad just on how many clicks it gets per impression on average, then the the issue with that is you might have one ad which has a fantastic click-through rate like this one but maybe that ad doesn't convert as well so although you're getting more clicks you're not getting more conversions so you might be thinking okay well then we'll just look at the conversion rate and we'll judge an ad based on the conversion rate well you might have an ad like this one that has the highest click-through rate but sorry the highest conversion rate but it has a lower click-through rate than the other ad. So then you're in a sort of dichotomy where you're not sure, okay, which ad do I select? The one with the higher click-through rate or the one with the higher conversion rate? Well, you can add an additional custom column with a custom metric that can help you to fix that issue and find out which ad is actually gonna perform best over time. So in order to set up a new custom column, which is gonna help us here, we're gonna go ahead and click in on this little button here, columns, just at the top of the report. And we're gonna go ahead and select where it says custom columns down here. So we're gonna click on that and we're gonna click plus custom column. So this custom column is gonna show us the number of conversions per impression. So we're just gonna type in a name, which is conversion per impression. And if we want to, we can add a description. So number of conversions per impression, just for future reference. And then we're gonna go ahead and begin to design what that metric is gonna look like, that custom column. So I'm gonna uh, click here to open up the existing columns. And we're gonna go ahead and find conversion so we can see conversions here. So I've got conversions here. And then we're gonna click on divide because we want conversions divided by impressions. And then again, I'm gonna click on performance and then look for impressions, here it is. So we've got conversions divided by impressions. And then we're gonna go ahead and click. Before we click save, we wanna make sure that this is shown as a percentage because just like click-through rate, this is gonna be a percentage. So we're gonna click save and that's loaded. So our metric is now showing up in this list here. And we wanna put this version per impression, we wanna have this next to conversion rate because they are similar metrics in what they're looking at. So we're gonna go ahead and then we are gonna click apply. So now that column has been entered in here so we can see conversion per impression. So now we can see that this ad is significantly better performing than the two ads below because if we 
look at if we isolate just for how many conversions are happening per impression this this ad performs best and the great thing about this custom column or this custom metric that we're using is that it takes into account both the conversion rate and also the click-through rate so we're getting the best of both worlds and we're able to see very very quickly and very easily which of the ads is the top performing ad and making decisions within your account based on custom columns like this custom metrics this is going to really help to improve the performance within your campaigns and making better decisions like that on a monthly basis is going to help to ongoing improve the performance of your campaigns and allow you to generate a lot more revenue through your campaigns and at the same time save you money on ad spend so i hope that's been useful and informative if so feel free to subscribe for additional tips on how to get the most out of your google ads campaigns thanks for watching